So my husband and I just recently bought our first home in the UK. It was beautiful, more than three bed, newly built house in the heart of Velfors. In this video, I'll be showing you how we managed to save over £20,000 as our mortgage deposits and for other related house buying expenses. I believe this will be very, very helpful to you, especially if you're looking to buy a house as well and you're, you know, looking for tips on how to save your deposits, your mortgage deposits, or if you have any major projects in mind and you need like sort of like to save quite a lot money to do so i'm going to show you how we did that <laughs> So basically there are two main ways to save bulk of money in a specific time period. So either you're earning more, either you do things that will help you earn more money or you try to save majority of the income that you get. But I think the most important thing to do is to learn how to save more of what you're earning because you can still earn so much more but if you don't have the discipline to know how to save, you'll still not be able to save. So earning more is not as important as learning how to save as much of what you're earning so first off we knew we needed to say about twenty thousand pounds there about for our mortgage deposit because we knew the kind of house that we wanted to buy and we knew that we only needed to pay ten percent of it okay so our target or our goal was to save twenty thousand pounds in that specific time period so let's say we gave ourselves let's say 10 months to do so so we needed to save twenty thousand pounds in 10 months so what i'll say is the first thing is know how much you need to save and know the time period that you need to save. It makes you know what you're working with, okay? You can't just keep saving, not having a goal in mind and not having a particular time in mind. It makes you more focused, it makes you more disciplined if you have a time frame and an amount of money. So set your goal, right? The next thing we did was obviously to review our income, our earnings and our bills, okay? So we know that, let's say I bring home 2,000 pounds every month. Let's say he brings home 2,000 pounds every month. That means our household income is, let's say, 4,000 pounds a month. So let's say we know that, okay, we know we have to pay our rent we know we have to pay electricity car insurance blah 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 so we reviewed our income and then we check all what's coming in and all what's going out okay the things that we can't live without okay we knew that if this is the case then to meet our goal we have to save let's say this amount each month okay and we try to cut costs on the things that we're leaving our accounts that we could actually get rid of i'll, I'll talk about that into detail later for us we tried to save the twenty thousand pounds in 10 months so each person was taxed with saving ten thousand pounds each in that 10 month period so me being the super competitive partner we decided to make it a challenge or like a competition okay so i was like let's see who's more disciplined let's see who saves his or hers first even before we started this i knew who the winner was going to be and i'm sure you guys know who the winner was but <laughs> to me it was exciting so i mean if you make a challenge especially if you're like married it sort of makes it fun it sort of makes it nice it keeps you in check right because anytime let's say there's a delivery and then i go and check the delivery at the door and let's say it's a box okay and i check the box and it's his name on it and i check and i'm seeing um, a sneaker let's say a nike sneaker i'd be like okay all right Oga. how much have you saved so far are you on track and hey, you're buying this are you sure you're on track you know i laugh at him and let's say i buy a bag or i buy something and he's like auntie um how much have you saved so far are you on track you know so we you know made it fun made it like a challenge and that was good good motivation enough we kept each other in check you know another major thing that i think really helped us was to set up direct debit automatic direct debit to a different account this was a game changer okay but what we did was we created other savings accounts i save a backlist okay so i created another account in my backlist app you can do that without even going to the bank okay you can do that on your app okay so i created another account and what i did was i made sure that account does not show when i open the app you can actually hide the account in the app you can hide it so i hit the account and what i did was let's say i know very well that i'm paid latest by the 28th of every month i was determined to save let's say thousand pounds each month so i said up automatic direct debit into that second account on the morning of 29th like every 29th okay so what happened was whenever i get my salary at the end of the month example this thousand pounds will automatically leave my account to that second account without me even having to transfer it it's automatic it goes there and my husband did the same so when i get my salary the amount i'm supposed to save for the deposits goes leaves my account almost immediately and that means out of sight out of mind 
I don't see it, so I don't think I have that money. So let's say I'm getting three thousand pounds a month, okay? And then I'm paid twenty eighth, and then twenty nine thousand goes straight to the savings account, the other account. I'm only working with that thousand pounds, okay? I know that that is all I have, and that is all I can spend in that month, okay? That is a major game changer, out of sight, out of mind. And I make sure I don't have a card for that other account. If you have a card, you're likely to use it to buy something online or buy something in the store or whatever so i did not have a card and i was not even seeing it in the up okay and that was a game changer we did that and he did that as well guys this thing works it works so well so i just got sent this beautiful package by emma sleep it's the emma sleep mattress so i always used to say that to buy a mattress you need to be in the shop in per se so you can feel the mattress for yourself so you can make the right choice but guys with emma sleep mattress there was absolutely no need for that absolutely no need for that it has a right feminist this is just the perfect mattress you can get and i've had the best night's sleep ever since i started sleeping on this mattress guys i'm not even joking you know prior to using the emma mattress anytime i go to bed with my baby and i wake up in the middle of the night to do something some way somehow he always used to realize that i have gotten up from the bed and that will wake him up and it will be a struggle to put him back to sleep ever since we started sleeping on the emma mattress this has never happened now he doesn't feel me move at all and he's sleeps throughout the night even when i wake up he loves emma mattress just like i do another amazing thing is emma sleep mattress has the ego cell technology what this means is that it keeps you warm in the winter and then it also helps to keep you cool you know when it's warm it was so easy to start using it so it came in this box okay so we took the plastic wrap off and immediately it started to inflate but we gave it a couple of hours to you know inflate more and guys look at the thickness and look at the firmness it's just the perfect mattress you can get it's just how i like it with the emma sleep mattress you are guaranteed to wake up feeling your best most importantly emma offers a 200 night risk-free guarantee and a 10-year guarantee if you're looking for a mattress look no further order your emma mattress okay and guys guess what emma sleep is having this huge huge deal with up to 50 percent off and if you use my personal link in the description you get additional five percent off on top by using my code thank you so much emma sleep for sponsoring today's video if you don't have a partner to do this with let's say you're saving this up by yourself what a friend of mine and his wife what they are doing is they have like a group of friends you know like-minded friends right and they are all nurses in the uk they all want to do like major projects some have like major projects they have to do back home some have major projects like they want to do here like start a business here or whatever so what they do is they form a group like they started this early on in the year so there are 12 of them and they contribute thousand pound each month each person each of the 12 persons contributes thousand pounds each month so let's say january this is already pre-arranged so january is let's say michael so michael brings his thousand the other 11 people bring their thousand and adds to michael's thousand and it's twelve thousand and michael takes the twelve thousand imagine you having twelve thousand pounds you can easily do whatever you want to use it for let's say you're putting up a house for your parents back home or whatever and you need like big money to do that you already have it and the good thing is it's more like getting a loan that you don't have to pay interest on but make sure that i don't know if this is legal guys i don't know if this is legal Educate me in the comment section but it's been really helpful so let's say the following month let's say february is for let's say ama okay so ama also brings his and michael also now brings his second thousand and the rest of the people also take it so it's like everybody's going to get twelve thousand but in different months of the year i remember when i first came to the uk i used to do this but we used to only contribute i think it was 500 pound a month and we were like is it six people so in my month i had like three thousand and that was huge okay that was really huge it's because you don't want to disappoint the other person so you have to contribute so for people that are not really disciplined that they can save on their own if you have a group like this is really really helpful just just by the way another thing that we were doing was we were making sure that we needed to keep the motivation burning like we needed to keep the desire to save burning so the entire time this channel became my favorite property vlogs on youtube i don't know the lady but we were always watching empty house tours of new builds in the uk 
it, it was such an inspiration so we we go like yeah we need to decorate our house like this oh i like this house i like it. and we were going for viewings we we're looking at houses online you know just to keep dreaming just to keep that fire that desire alive it's so nice so let's say and then sometimes when we are off we go to ikea so we go to ikea we look at the the mirrors we look at the home decor stuff and we're like we're definitely going to get this no we don't want to get this chair and we'll be fighting we've already bought the house we've already saved the money but we are fighting already no you not put this in my house no we not do this it's so fun and it's so nice <laughs> it's so fun and it's so nice like we are dreaming we're looking at the couch we're looking at the sofa we got i remember there was this time that we went to this place we later went and get our our furniture there but we went to this expensive luxurious furniture shop in belfast and then we went there and the guy actually thought we were buying that furniture that day we had not even bought the house <laughs> So we went there, we're like, we like this, we like that. The guy was serious. He spent almost like an hour telling us, I think you should go for this. And then when we were done, we're like, we'll come back later. The disappointment on the guy's face. See, we were doing that to keep ourselves motivated. So you can do that. Whatever it is that you want to buy, you can start dreaming that you have it. Start watching people who already have theirs. Okay, and I would say, ah, I tap into your testimony. Your testimony is my heritage. I was watching other people's projects that they have done and I was letting it inspire me in a genuine, positive way. Okay. And the other important thing is to cut costs. Okay, remember I said we reviewed our expenses and our income right so what we did was we cut costs in whatever way that we could already what i do is meal planning so i make sure i plan the week's meal or sometimes even further than that and we always make sure we eat from the house majority of the time my husband takes lunch to work every time he can buy lunch from work but that's going to cost him let's say maybe like 10 pound multiply 10 pound by let's say three times each week by the whole month that's how much we are losing why don't i meal plan and he sends lunch to school i pack his lunch <laughs> did i say school i mean work he takes lunch to work every single day i pack his lunch i make i make sure it's ready every single day he doesn't buy from work and we eat at home once in a while we treat ourselves to like some chinese or whatever but that's just once in a while we cut costs as much as we could i checked my phone i checked things that i have subscribed for like subscribe like apps or stuff they may be two pound a year or maybe one pound a month but i realized i'm not using it so I cancelled all those subscriptions. We made a conscious effort to cut energy costs as well. When you finish using the washing machine, put it off. When you finish warming your food in the microwave, we put it off. If you're not using the room, turn off the light. Okay. And then we had two fridges. But I realized the other fridge was just for like water and for, for like G's. Like, is, is that even necessary? We could make sure we get ice and put it in the, in the other fridge so we turned one fridge off like it was just wasting energy anyways the heating we make sure that that particular room that you are in you turn that room's heater on if you need it you understand so just to cut cost we did it obviously we were using just one car so only one car insurance only one road tax and only one mot at the end of the year i mean yeah so those were the ways that we cut costs and then remember i said another way to save a lot of money in a specified period is to try to and more money from you know elsewhere what we did was my husband's work yeah they don't work on holidays any holiday is a day off for him but meanwhile most holidays if i work i'm gonna be paid more than my normal rates the basic rates okay so i would try and pick a shit on those holidays so i try to pick extra shit on holidays if i can if we can okay so that way i'm working and i'm making more than the usual another thing is obviously i have a side hustle i have youtube my husband will try and take care of the baby for us even when sometimes sometimes he's tired he tries to take care of the baby for us so i can do this hustle and make more money so side hustles by the way if you're thinking of starting a side hustle the best platform to learn something so that you can start a new side hustle is skillshare and there's a link in the description below to get one month free access of skillshare okay with my code if you use my link okay so yeah we did everything humanly and legally possible that we could use to save more money okay and the truth is although we gave ourselves like 10 months we saved it way faster than that so way way faster and that makes me believe that if we are to do another project and that we are to use the same format or the same formula we will be able to do it see have the desire to do it have the determination and have the discipline three d's and you will be successful if you want to watch the tour of the house we bought i'll leave a link here so you can watch bye